Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you guys how to resolve the error name resolution failed in the Google Chrome web browser. So you're going to come across this error followed by a, the web page might be temporarily down or it may have moved permanently to a new web address. So if you have tried the same link on another browser and it's working properly or on another computer and other websites are working correctly, that's very important so the website actually could be down and in that case there's really nothing you can do about it. However, if you are sure that it's a Google Chrome related issue, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about addressing it without too much of a hassle here. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the very first thing we're going to do is open up the start menu, just off click on the start button one time, type in CMD, best match should come back with command prompt, you want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now I'm going to have a couple of commands we're going to run here. The first one is going to be IP config space forward slash flush DNS exactly as it appears on my screen. So again, IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back with successfully flushed a DNS resolver cache. Once you have that, now you want to type in NETSH space WinSock W I N S O C K space reset. Hit enter on your keyboard once again. It should say you must restart your computer in order to complete the reset. So I'd suggest restarting your computer and again, hopefully that would have been able to address your problem. So go ahead and close out of here. Another thing you can try would be to go ahead and open up the star menu. Type in control panel. Best match to come back on control panel right above app. Go ahead and left click on that one time. Select your view by up here. Make sure it's either large or small icons. And then select network and internet or network and sharing center. So go ahead and left click on that. Whatever your internet connection type over here where I'm circling, you want to go ahead and left click on that. So there should be a little hyperlink there. And then select the properties button. Select Internet Protocol version 4 and then in parentheses TCP slash IPv4 and then select Properties. You want to select use the following DNS server address and now you're going to type in Google's own DNS server. So type 8 followed by another 8 so click outside of that. Hit 8 in the second area here. 8, 8. Just don't type 4 8's in a row. You see what I'm doing there so just make sure you type 1 8 evenly spaced here. And then for the alternate DNS server, it should be 8.8.4.4. Don't actually type in any dots or periods, just, I'm just putting that in as a placeholder. So again, make sure you have it exactly as it appears on my screen here. Once you're done with that, go ahead and select OK. And once you're done with that, close out of here. Restart your computer. Hopefully, again, that would have been able to resolve your problem. Another thing you can do if you're not afraid to reset your Google Chrome browser, so history, whatnot, cookies we're going to go ahead and go through another method here and that would entail opening up the Google Chrome web browser so once your computer is restarted from the previous method open up the Google Chrome browser select the menu icon near the top right corner where the three vertical dotted icon is so go ahead and left click on that and then go down and left click on settings Scroll down on this page until you get to advanced, or you can left click on advanced on the left side, whatever you prefer. And just want to let it load here for a moment. Scroll down a bit until you find reset and clean up. And then select restore settings to the original defaults. It says this will reset your start page, new tab page, search engine, and pin tabs. It will also disable all extensions and clear temporary data like cookies. Your bookmarks, history, and safe passwords will not be cleared. Go ahead and left click on reset settings. Give it a moment here.
Once you're done with that, close out of here, restart your computer again, and hopefully I should have been able to address your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.